Jason Peters was signed over the weekend. Let's give us a little something here. Jason Peters was signed over the weekend. And look, Will, I'm not going to lie. How many of y'all on social media, let's say Saturday, when the deal didn't go through Friday, how many of y'all was uh, cussing out Stephen Jones? Like, man, this motherfucker better, better not mess this one up. He better not <laughs> screw this one up. You know what I mean? It was, a, it was a weird little time. But early Monday, early Monday, Cowboys working on Labor Day, but we not. Ain't this a, ain't this a cool job, Will, still? Love it. Cowboys were working when Vice Lombardi Live was off, but Jason Peters was signed, sealed, and um, delivered. And the first text that I sent for Will, that, that Will sent me was, hey, man, Jason Peters, huge as hell. And he's huge as hell, but he's somehow in shape also. You know what I mean? And, you know, just I saw this one video. It was like from Dallas Morning News, CBS, whatever joint that they don't really post videos, but they posted this video, newspaper something. And uh, it was just Jason Peters working on the cores, stretching, moving around, just going through his little paces. And then that just made me go, I don't want no more small offensive linemen, Will Steele. If I can get that's the video, Will Steele. That's the fucking vi- thank you, Will, the producer of the year. Drop flames in the chat for Will Steele. I saw this video, Will, and I was like, I don't want no more small offensive linemen ever, right? Yeah. If I can get five people looking like Jason Peters, let's boogie. That dude is huge, but that's in shape for him. That's in good shape for him. And I got some some sound clips for y'all later. Jason Peters will talk about some of the things that he's done to you know get ready to get prepped for the season and all that. Um. Of course, Eagles fans have something to say to us. You know, he's a former Eagle, and they think that, oh, well, if Jason Peters is their starting left tackle, we're just going to have an Adrian Claiborne type day. Well, we've been watching the film, and that's why I'm so proud of the Twitter community. We'll see. I'm so proud of the social media community that instead of just assuming, we went to go watch the film. And even if Jason Peters ain't amazing, he is two things. He is an average NFL left tackle because left tackle in the National Football League is trash. And most importantly, he better than fucking Josh Ball. That's it. That's, that's, I think that's the big key here. So, yes, he's 40, but I just need Cowboys to understand he's 40, but we're not in this for a youthful character. We're not in this for a left tackle for the future. We're in this because Tyron Smith put us in a bad situation. Josh Ball put us in a worse situation. All this shit is Jerry and Steven's fault in the first place. So we just kind of need something to get us by. We need something to keep us alive just to make sure number four doesn't die a slow and horrible death. And Jason Peters will indeed do that for you. Um, now, if we're talking about February, March in the process, I wasn't really a big fan of the idea of signing a 40-year-old. But Vach was ignorant. Vach went back to look the film. Will still has done the film. People in this chat box, I'm sure, because y'all are responsible Cowboy fans. Y'all have looked at the film. Jason Peters looks pretty spiffy as a left tackle. I got questions for you, Will. Let's go. Tyler Smith is definitely going to be starting left tackle versus the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Mm-hmm. All right, cool. In my personal opinion, I don't think there's any type of so impressive that Tyler Smith can look to where Jason Peters can just remain on the sideline. You know, there were some clips going around. They were saying, hey, man, if Tyler Smith look good, just keep Jason Peters on the sideline and keep doing your thing. I'm in the camp of. Right, but Conor McGovern still exists, (laughs) right? So in my mind, if Tyler Smith is amazing and ready for the NFL game, I don't leave him at left tackle. That just made me feel better about left tackle for the future. But I'm putting his strong ass right back at left guard, and I'm running Jason Peters at left tackle so that we can have that that dream thing that we've been kind of talking about, Will. Am I right on that, or do you disagree? No, I I don't. I think it, it goes back to that whole best five thing, right? Like, I, I completely mm-hmm. understand best five is not always going to be the five that fans want. But, I, yeah. I I mean, that is easily the best five, period. Yeah. Now, Jerry came out and said, which is Jerry, which maybe you'll play a clip. I don't know. But Jerry mm-hmm. came out and said, that, oh, you know, it depends how Tyler Smith plays. To me, that doesn't sound like a plan. I don't know if that's the real plan, but that sounds like a, hey, man, we just going to throw shit at the wall and see if it sticks. Figure it out. Figure it out as it goes. Where I think the plan should be what you said. Your best tackle on this team, based off a of film from last year, your best left tackle at the very least, is Jason Peters. Sure. Um, and, of course, this isn't Madden where you could just sign a free agent guy, plug no. them right in there, and they're ready to go week one. Yeah. Um, I would love for it to be that way. I would love for that to be the case, though. But, uh, you know, I, I think it would be a, 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 a hell of a surprise yeah. if Jason Peters 
lines up out there week one. Um, Bengals, that might be pushing it a little bit, but I think week three versus the Giants, I think that may be uh, that may be the perfect storm. So we get two, uh, two weeks of Tyler Smith. We got some sound clips of Mike McCarthy um, getting his thoughts on uh, Jason Peters. Let's, let's see what he got to say. Well, I think just like any player, I mean, you have a chance to, to look at the video and obviously have a tremendous amount of respect for what Jason's accomplished throughout his career. But, you know, going back, watching the uh, the video of, of his time in Chicago, um, you know, is it is definitely a opportunity of high mutual interest, you know, and which is what I think is interesting in the in the first part, right? Because this isn't like, oh, we were desperate, so we went here, or oh, we know the Eagle stuff, but he was kind of trash, whatever. So we're just going here. If they went to the to the um, if they went to the uh, Bears film. Right. Like if they went to the to the Bears film, then they know that Jason Peters can play. So I want to know when did they watch this Bears film? And, you know, Will, you said on your show, me and you text about it. You know, you kind of want to call Jason Peters as soon as Tyron Smith get hurt. But I wonder when I wonder when is the earliest they knew Jason Peters could still play. Let's keep running Mike McCarthy. You know, he'd love to finish his career here in, in, in Texas. And um, so uh, we had a chance to visit, you know, late last week and. And through the weekend, so he will uh, he'll line up, and uh, we'll kind of just bring him on along a little slowly today. We'll just do individual, so he'll practice today. Let's see how practice goes today. You know, so we'll just get him back out there, and you know, kind of take up a ramp up type mindset. Uh, just just to let him get back into it. Now I wonder, are we going to shoot dice in the bathroom, or is this Mike McCarthy just kind of not showing his hand necessarily? You know what I mean? Oh yeah, he'll come in and. He'll practice and we'll see what's going on. We'll ramp him up. Or is there some secret Illuminati, uh, you know, uh, meeting going on and say, hey, man, we got to see. We, we got to get you right day one. I wonder if Jason Peters. Right. And there's different, there's a difference between football shape and real life shape. He says he's in real life shape. Football shape is different. But it's week one. So none of us are technically in football shape. Yes, the team has been practicing more. Some of the some of the, you know, you know, they, they've been doing the joint practices and things they've been, you know, practicing, but it ain't like game shape, which is another different kind of shape. Right. Should we just shoot the dice in the bathroom wheel still and just throw them in the fire and just, hey, you're going to get your ass in shape via no. blocking time? <laughs> no, absolutely not. He's 40 years old, man. He, he said, I haven't put on a helmet or shoulder pad since January. That's real. That's real. Yeah. Yeah, but I'm excited though. Yeah, <laughs> I'm excited because going into this thing, man, you know, oh, we're looking for Jason Peters, we're looking for Eric Fisher, we're looking for some left tackle guy. You're like, all right, cool, whatever. But when you watch the film, you get you feel better. You feel a little better when you see that film, Will Still. So I just kind of want to see this thing right now. And Jason Peters is a powerful dude. So this goes back to the conversation we had the other day, to where when you're looking for Tyron Smith's backup, you look for what are you losing. Right. So Jason Peters is a guy who's big as hell, who can move. Right. Mm -hmm. And he may not be a Tyron Smith can move guy, but he can move. But he's powerful. He's powerful as shit. Like Tyron Smith is also powerful. So you don't lose very much power. You know what I mean? So in my mind, man, I just kind of want to see Jason and uh, Jason and young Tyler move people around and smoke shit out of people. I'm I'm just excited to see what that looks like. Um, Clarence Hill asked uh, Mike McCarthy, does this mean that Tyler Smith goes back to guard? And, you know, of course, we're going to dissect the shit out of what Mike McCarthy's talking about here. Oh, no, no. I mean, we're, you know, once again, we're, you know, we're, this is about adding depth and and uh, bringing another excellent player into your program. So, um, you know, we'll just, you know, it's, uh, to me, these are two separate, you know, s separate topics. And, and, and this is just more about add, adding, a, you know, a future Hall of Fame player to your lineup. Stop the cap. To your football team. <laughs> Just. If you watch that film, like you said, you watch that film, you're not looking for Jason Peters as simply a depth guy. I don't give a damn how good Tyler Smith looks at left tackle. If Tyler Smith looks great at left tackle and Jason Peters is as good as you think he can be compared to the 39-year-old film or whatnot, and he goes out there, he's a good left tackle for you, Tyler Smith, we love what you did at tackle. You're the future, though. Put this motherfucker right back here. Because, look, because you, you, now you got to have the conversation of, of, okay, is Jason Peters a better left tackle than Connor McGovern is a left guard? Connor McGovern plays right guard really, I hope I say really well. Connor McGovern plays right guard better. He's solid for left guard if that's what we're going with. But we'll still, the whole damn camp, what we've been saying, the whole offseason, what we've been saying, uh, Tyler Smith's better than Connor McGovern. 
Uh, Tyler Smith's much better than Conor McGovern. So unless Conor McGovern got some secret kung fu left tackle shit we don't know about, <laughs> put Tyler Williams at guard and quit playing so damn much. Tyler-